Bulu mina ladies and gentlemen and uh, bulu mina the members of the media that are here. After conducting 368 tests, including another 11 last night, Fiji has zero new confirmed cases of COVID-19 virus. Still, there is zero room for complacency. We may still have five cases, all of whom remain in stable condition, but that shouldn't lead anyone to believe that this crisis is behind us. If we relent now, we will cripple our campaign to lock down this virus for good. Under the leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister, Fiji is quick to ramp up travel restrictions as the virus began its global spread. We shut our borders entirely to foreign nationals present in mainland, mainland China and other high-risk countries earlier on. Passenger travel to Fiji has virtually ended, save for a few planned evacuation flights. Cruise ships are banned. We have a nationwide curfew in effect from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. every day. Schools are closed at least till the 17th of April. We've rolled out a work-from-home program for some civil servants. And unless travel pertains directly to their lives or livelihoods, all Fijians should stay at home. As part of a nationwide COVID-19 containment effort, following our first case, we locked down the Lotoka confined area and on the 19th of March for the period of 14 days. Since that time, three more cases have been identified in the Lotoka confined area, the most recent of which was a 31-year-old member of the first patient's Zumba class. That patient began displaying symptoms on Monday the 23rd of March. We have since identified and entered all of our close contacts into compulsory self-quarantine. However, there is still a risk she could have infected others. Yes, it's a small risk, but it's a risk we cannot afford to take. If we lift the restrictions too early, and if we've missed one person in Lotoka who has contracted the virus, the rest of Itilevu would be at risk. The incubation period for this virus can be as long as 14 days. That is why, out of an abundance of caution, the Lotoka confined area will remain locked down at least until 5 a.m. in the morning on Tuesday, the 6th of April. By that time, if we are confident that we have flushed out the virus, the restrictions may be relaxed. As you know, in the past few days, we have opened the port in Lotoka for international shipping, including exports and imports. Of course, we will continue to allow steady flows of essential food, goods and services to come in and out of Lotoka in a controlled and hygienic fashion. We know these restrictions have not been easy for many residents within the Lotoka confined area, but take comfort in knowing that these tough decisions we're making could very well spare us enormous future suffering. No one wants to see a large-scale outbreak of this virus in Fiji. And that means making hard calls today that keep this virus at bay. While this lockdown continues, we are redoubling our efforts to ensure this virus has not spread further. Our teams in the Lotoka confined area are going to test and test and test until we know this virus has been contained. The extension of the lockdown means the same rules remain. No one goes in and no one out. We know that some Lotoka residents have been caught outside of the Lotoka confined area. We know this, this has not been easy. Uh, two weeks for these Fijians. I want to thank those living outside Lotoka confined area who are opening their homes to friends, family, and even just their fellow Fijians during this lockdown. But know that these measures have been put in place to keep you safe and keep your friends and family within the confined area safe as well. At the present time, in the interest of keeping everyone safe, we cannot allow anyone back into the confined area. I'll tell you why. Our investigations reveal serious gaps in the account provided by the first patient about when his symptoms actually began. It's, it's clear we cannot trust everything he has said. Even though we now have successfully accounted for all of his known contacts, it is in the nation's best interest that we all act as we will there are still some cases in the area waiting to be detected, and even in the surrounding areas such as Nandi. 
until we know with certainty that they are not. On top of that, we cannot disregard the possibility that the recent patient, the man who recently traveled to Fiji prior to testing positive while in New Zealand, may have picked up the virus while he was here. To those living within the Lotoko confined area, know that the single quickest way to open your boundaries and return to normal is by seeing as many people in the Lotoko confined area possibly tested for fevers at our new clinics. To be blunt, the low number of Fijians visiting these fever clinics in the Lotoko confined area has so far been severely disappointing. And this lack of action only holds up our efforts. So if you're showing any symptom like a sore throat, cough or fever, please go get yourself tested. If teams visit your home, be honest about how you're feeling and who you have seen. It is your God-given responsibility to your family, your community and your country. We also know that many families have been anxious about what this virus and the accompanying global recession will mean for the livelihoods. In our COVID-19 response budget, the Honorable Attorney General and Minister of Economy unveiled a historic package of support to Fijian businesses, employees and families. Along with a 40 million injection directly into our healthcare systems, a big financial boost that I and frontline health workers deeply appreciate. Ladies and gentlemen, that passage of the budget including new amendment, amendment to the Public Health Act to step, our enforce, step up our enforcement of the measures we've introduced to keep the Fijian people safe. Because we are not relying on goodwill alone to do what must be done to stop this virus from spiraling into an outbreak. The police have already made dozens of arrests relating to violations of uh, public health protection measures and through an amendment to the Public Health Act. Liars and lawbreakers can face up to five years in prison, a $10,000 fine, or both. But, but despite some of the reckless actions and attitudes we've seen, we know that many, many Fijians have been playing by the rules. In fact, many have gone above and beyond the call of duty in the campaign against the coronavirus. I want to thank the businesses who are putting physical distancing into practice for their employers and customers. I want to thank the concerned citizens who have reported irris irresponsible behavior to the police. I especially want to thank the doctors and the nurses who spend every day on the front lines, identifying, containing, and treating this virus and keeping us safe. And I want to thank everyone who realizes that the government cannot secure victory of this virus alone. We're in a fight for the lives of our most vulnerable, and we need the vigilance, discipline, and genuine compassion of every Fijian to win it. We need everyone washing their hands with soap and water as often as they can. We need everyone maintaining a two-meter distance from others as much as possible. That means queuing, queuing up responsibly, no matter what you're waiting for, and staying at home as often as possible. We need everyone to, start, to drop the stigma around being tested, whether that's for the common fever, flu, or COVID-19. Because despite them sharing symptoms, distinguishing between coronavirus and other viral infections is critical to saving lives. If we have a cough, fever, sore throat, or shortness of breath, and have been overseas or in contact with someone who has been in overseas, please call the Minister of Health toll free number 158 immediately. No expert can say with certainty how long this global crisis will last. What we do know is that we don't stand a chance at snuffing out this virus unless every Fijian gets behind the government's plan and does their part in winning the war on COVID-19. So do your part. Do it for yourself, do it for those you love, and do it for Fiji. Nabalebu, thank you. God bless Fiji. And I hand over.